Hi everyone, this is the Construction Zone by Cheryl Hudson. What do you see at the Construction Zone? The Construction Zone is like a giant puzzle. Some pieces are very big, other pieces are very small. A Construction Zone is a special area set aside for building. Before building can begin, the art detect makes lots of drawings and models. These show how the finished building will look. Everyone at the construction zone will follow the architect's plan. An architect is someone who designs buildings and makes sure that they are built properly. The amazing work begins. Big yellow machines dig their claws deep into the ground. They excavate the site and move mounds and mounds of soil and stone. To excavate means to dig in the earth. There are lots of workers at the construction zone. They wear hard hats, heavy gloves, goggles, and steel-tipped shoes to protect their bodies. Construction work can be dirty and dangerous. Hard hats must be worn by construction workers on the job to protect their heads from falling objects. A temporary wall is put into the ground to keep the dirt from sliding back into the excavated hole. Now the foundation is laid. This is what the building will sit on. Starting from the bottom, iron workers lay down a mesh of rebar. They tie the long rods tight. Rebar is a building material made from steel and used inside concrete foams to make them stronger. Watch your step. Day after day, concrete spews from the mixing trucks parked along the street. It squishes and slides between the iron rods. The concrete drives into smooth stone-like slabs. Concrete is a building material made from a mixture of sand, gravel, cement, and water. Men and women work together at the construction zone. They use smart minds and strong muscles to make every piece of the puzzle fit. Big hooks and cranes hoist steel beams up. Careful now! The workers gently guide the heavy beams and fasten them into place to make the building frame. A crane is a machine with a long arm used to lift and move heavy objects. The steel beam frame is like a skeleton that gives the building shape. Carpenters saw and hammer and drill and sand. They make hollow wood forms in the shapes of floors and columns. Then concrete is poured inside of them. When it dries, the wood is removed. The columns and floors are put into place. These concrete slabs look like a stack of pancakes. A carpenter is someone who works with will, wood or builds and repairs the wooden parts of a building. A column is a tall pillar that helps separate and support the floors of a building. High above the ground, construction workers balance on planks and beams like circus tightrope walkers. There are no stairs or elevators yet, so they move around on scaffolds. The workers must wear harnesses to keep them safe. Masons begin to lay brick after brick, higher and higher. The outside walls go up. A scaffold is a structure of wooden planks, ropes, and metal poles that workers stand on high above ground. 
A harness of straps attached to something sturdy catches workers in case they fall. Next, the construction workers installed the insulation and windows. Steady now. Piece by piece, the giant orange cranes move the windows into place. These huge panes of glass let sunlight in, but keep wind and moisture out. Installation is a special material that keeps heat from escaping through the walls. It keeps the building warmer in winter and cooler in summer. Between the walls and under the floors, miles and miles of cables and cords and wires and pipes and vents are laid. The building must have power, water, heat, and air conditioning for the people who will work inside. Cables, cords, and wires are used for carrying electricity and television and telephone signals. Pipes carry running water for sinks and toilets, and vents allow fresh air in and send stale air out. Inside, the walls are painted, fixtures installed, cabinets built, carpets laid, and furniture arranged. Finally, a place to sit. It is a comfortable place to think and talk and share ideas. Fixtures are items that are put firmly and permanently in place, such as doorknobs, faucets, and lighting. On the outside of the building, workers put on the finishing touches. They pull off the plastic wrapping and reveal the colorful skin. Light bounces off the shiny metal walls and tall yellow towers. Nighttime falls at the construction zone. It is quiet and still. Inside the building, lights are shining outside. Trees have been planted on a rooftop. The pieces of a giant puzzle have finally been put into place.